I suggest you watch this first part, which is very interesting with solving the quest in Gilder. Enjoy. I'm going to punch you in the face a few times now in the name of Aganak. <laughs> Are you the bold one? All right then. Show me what you're made of. Your final hour has come! Stop right there, you dog. Stop. All right. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Mirzo got what he had coming. Amazing. I never thought you had it in you, Mora. I will pay big for this. <laughs> All right, Mora. You are the better fighter of us two. Are you happy then? Go matter. now. My skull. We have to crack down I just can't go on. Make yourself useful, Mora. Geldon is a place where we meet orcs, mercenaries, shamans, hashishins, but also other people intruded here. It is a fortress ruled by shamans, and uh, to get in touch with their boss, our hero must solve several quests. Supposed to impress me. Leave me alone. Sure, why not? It's still the door on her. Who have to decide? Don't cause any trouble here. Got it? Here it says something about alchemy. We'll see what happens. 
I need sulfur. Five lumps. Do you really? Stop yanking my chain, Mora. Get me that sulfur or you'll be sorry. But don't even think about bringing unrefined chunks of sulfur, understand? Here you are. Five lumps of sulfur. Good. Here's a healing potion for you. And now scram, I'm busy. Here it says something about alchemy. Damn it, am I going too slow for you again? When will you idiots finally get it? I need time to supply all of the troops here. You're a fire mage? I used to be. Now I'm the cook for this voracious gang of mercenaries. Now don't tell me you're one of them yourself. I see that you still wear your robe. Yes, in hopes that this nightmare will soon be over and humans will be free once again. Can you teach me the art of magic? Even though all you do these days is cook. All right, I will give it a try. A fire maid shouldn't be heard cursing. I've had it with good manners. All I want is some peace and quiet, damn it. That attitude won't get you far in this town. Is there anything worse than being a cook here? Death, perhaps. I am not afraid of dying. I will go down fighting when my time has come. And believe me, there are many here in Geldern who think like me. What can I do to help you persuade the humans to fight the orcs? I need to know whether the shamans are hiding one of the fire chalices in their temple. I don't think they are. But it still gives me sleepless nights. Talk to Grok, the senior shaman, and make sure they don't have a fire chalice. Only then will I help you persuade the humans to revolt. Where are the other fire mages? They are in the big monastery in Nordmar, looking for the twelve fire chalices of ancient magic. They hope to use them to restore magical abilities to the paladins. Those chalices must be found. The monastery needs every single one of them, understand? Where can I find the fire chalices? I found some evidence when I studied the history of Geldern. According to what I learned, it seems certain that one of the chalices is located here in Geldern, in the mine. There's another clue pointing to the temple in Geldern, but that one is rather vague. I see. Tell me more about the mercenaries. The mercenaries work for gold. Gold from the orcs or gold from the humans, it's all the same to them. That's all you really need to know about this corrupt bunch of Cretans. One of them even killed his own people for gold. Which mercenary here would kill his own people? His name is Ivan. He always shoots his mouth off at the orcs. He's more of an unholy bandit than a mercenary. Right now, Ivan and his boys are watching a mine north of Gelder. Teach me something about ancient magic. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. Welcome to Geldern, stranger. What can I do for you? You're a merchant? Exactly. I deal mainly in artifacts, so if you find any, bring them to me. What do you know about artifacts in this town? There's a storeroom on the fortress of the south side of town where they have some valuable pieces. What artifacts interest you the most? They say that the seven ancient rings of the alchemists are hidden here in Geldern. They're worth more than 3,000 gold on the black market. I would really like to call the Seven Rings of the Alchemists my own. You talk like someone who knows a lot about thievery. I know many thieves. It's part of dealing with artifacts. 
However, I don't know too much about these things myself, but I heard that Lairs, one of the greatest thieves in Mertana, is in town. I know Laris. I could introduce you to him. Would you do that? I wouldn't mind paying 1,000 gold coins for that. I'll see what I can do. Let's trade. I could have told you that. At last! High time you move your butt over here! So, here you are, Laris. On the lookout for booty again? Old habits die hard. That's especially true for thieves. I've got a really big score going right now. I bet this will interest you too. So, where is there anything to be had here? I accepted an assignment from a rich hashishi merchant. He says that the shaman set up six very valuable golden plates in the temple. He wants them, and he's willing to shell out an incredible amount of gold for them. You disappeared pretty quickly after we got here with our ship. I saw the attacking pirates from the Esmeralda's deck, so I decided to make myself scarce. Open battle against pirates is more your cup of tea. I prefer to fade into the woodwork, as you're well aware. Who is this merchant you work for? He's a wealthy hashishi from the desert. Boring fellow, but he's loaded. I see. Will you help me brush up on my thieving skills? <laughs> of course I will. You know that. How much will you get for the shaman's golden plates? A huge amount of gold. Enough for both of us, my friend. I just can't get into the damn temple. <laughs> but I know you'll be able to pull it off somehow. Bring me the six gold plates, and I'll give you a pile of gold coins for them. What do you say? Sounds fair to me. Jared, the artifact trader, would give his right arm just to meet you. I've heard of Jared. He'll give you a decent price. I think I should pay him a visit. Go right ahead. Teach me something about thievery. Teach me how to pick impossible locks. These locks are secured two and three times. You have to feel very carefully with the lockpick for the right place in the lock. Then you can open the lock with a quick twitch. But watch out, it sounds easier than it is. Teach me how to pick impossible pockets. You've known the necessary hand movements for a while. You're right-handed, aren't you? Always keep your right hand moving. Wave it around, right in front of his nose is best. That will distract him so that you can safely grab with your left hand. <laughs> Believe me, that trick always works. I talked to Laris. He will get in contact with you. The Great Lairs, here in my shop. That I should live to see the day. Yeah, yeah, get over it. Thanks, friend. Here's the gold I promised you.
Where do you think you're going, Mora? Who are you? I am Nemrock. I take care of the shaman's needs. Meet them with reverence, or you will feel my blade. I hope we understand each other. What sort of temple is this? These halls are the headquarters of the highest dignitaries of the shamans. Our leader Grok rules the ancient alchemist city of Geldern from here. I want to enter the service of the shamans. Hmm. You're a strong fellow. You can prove your prowess in the mines around here. Or maybe you're good in battle. Then you would be better off with the mercenaries or the gladiators. The shamans accept men who have a good reputation in the city. What are the shamans' needs? We dig for gold, sulfur, artifacts, and other valuable natural resources for the Mora. The mines have to be productive. That is my job. I want to work for you. <laughs> Normally, the most I'd let a Mora do is bring me a joint of meat, but I think I might have a job for a fighter. I need a new messenger. What would I do as your messenger? You would go to the mines in my name, find out about the missing yields, and bring them to me. And if the mines aren't productive, then you would get them going again. It's as simple as that. Fine, I'll take the job. Get started already and stop talking about it. What do you need from the sulfur mine? The lazy rabble in the sulfur mine to the north promised me 30 lumps of sulfur. Go and collect them. What should I do with the gold mines? I've been waiting for days for 50 gold nuggets from the mines in the north. Go and bring them to me. I don't care how you do it. Where can I get artifacts for you? We have taken many artifacts from the wolf mine, but the mine is abandoned at the moment. A pack of tunnel wolves ate all the slaves. And the guards, too, while they were at it. Get yourself some eager slaves and get the wolf mine going again. The slaves will show you the way to the mine. But before you take the slaves to the wolf mine, make sure the tunnel wolves are gone. Where else can I find artifacts other than the wolf mine? A lot of artifacts can be found in this part of Mertana, around Gildern. So far, we haven't gotten around to opening up all of the areas. In the north is an old ruin on top of a crag. Go and see what can be had there, and bring it to me. Tell me something about Zardis. The mage knows the ways of the gods. He bears the knowledge of many lifetimes. He is chosen. Chosen by Beliar to bear his power. Well, actually, he took the power. We are looking for artifacts. At the moment, nothing else is important. Here. I have your lumps of sulfur. I said 30. Are you deaf? Go and get the rest. Are there mines in the south of Geldern? There is an abandoned mine, but we don't dig there anymore. It was no longer productive enough. No! We do not know if we can trust you. Here are your gold nuggets. Good. That should do for now. Here is your reward. Damn, Mora, what is it?
problem solve themselves. Are you serious? Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had. Nothing more to be had there. Nothing to be had. Nothing to be had. Damn, Mora, what is it? <laughs> 